Hi guys, it is Tina with Picture It Personal Finance, where I ask you to picture your goal, plan to achieve it, and enjoy your success. Frequently, we catch ourselves saying yes to things because of, really honestly, not knowing how to say no. So today I wanna to share with you six ways that you can say no in order to avoid spending money that you really know you don't want to be spending. I'm gonna kick it off with the super obvious one, which is just simply no. Say no, say it calmly, say it directly, say it succinctly, do not give a reason, just leave it at that. No, I'm not spending this money. No, I'm not going to that place. No. It's really hard to do, just so you know. <laughs> I myself struggle with that one. And therefore, I'm going to give you five more, but you do have that option. So I wanted to start off with that because when you grow and you get stronger at um, having the confidence to walk your life according to your desires and your convictions, that will be easier to do. I myself still struggle with it, though. So let's move on to number two. Number two is the partial no. Let's say somebody asks you to go to dinner and a movie and Movies they can be a little bit spendy and so can dinner, especially depending on where you're going. So the partial no might look like this. No, I can't make it to the movie tonight, but I can absolutely do dinner and I'm looking forward to having a steak with you. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's, oh, no, I won't be able to make it to dinner tonight, but I really want to see this movie. If you're interested in this movie, let's do it. This way you're engaging with the person and you're getting some um, relational satisfaction out of it, but simultaneously sticking to a budget or reining yourself in. Number three is the replacement no. This is where, let's say somebody asks you to go to a museum, an expensive museum. Some of them can be pretty pricey for a day pass. You might say, no, I can't go to that museum. I'd so much rather go to the botanical garden. Let's walk around the botanical garden instead. So you can identify a list of activities that would be pleasing with this person um, or just for yourself and give that replacement no. I still want to be with you. I still want to hang out, but let's do this other activity as an alternative. Number five is the not me no. This is one my husband uses all the time. I might go up to him and say, hey, I wanna go handbag shopping or let's go smell some fragrances. He would say to me, no, that's not for me to do with you. Why don't you ask your sister to go? So I am on the receiving end of this one pretty frequently, but it tickles me and so it should definitely be in the list because maybe you're not the person to go. Like if my husband was like, hey, let's go gun shopping or do you wanna to go to the gun show? No, no, why don't you go ask your friend? <laughs> so this one is super suitable and absolutely applicable, especially for those of you who are in partnerships or in marriages. The next one is the not now no. So this one I like a lot because you might really want to go do the thing that um, you're being asked to do, or you might wanna engage in it, but now is not the right time because it's not in your budget. So this might be one where somebody asks you to, uh, again, it could be going out to dinner or something along those lines, and you simply say, I can't do it right now, but let's do it next week. Or I can't do it right now, but let's do it next month, depending on what the activity is or what the spend is. And then last but not least is the conditional no. No, I can't do this until X, Y thing happens. Now, if you're talking with somebody who is maybe open to having a financial conversation, I love using this one to help teach other people. So for example, somebody might say to me, um, or I might ask you like, hey, let's go on vacation. Let's do a girl's getaway and let's go spend, you know, four days in Aspen. And the response might be, I want to do that, but I can't do that until I pay off this credit card. Or I want to do that, but I can't do that until I, um, you know, sell this item that I'm looking to sell. And then it, you can unfold into that why the condition exists and it can be used as a learning experience for the other person. I mean, frankly, you can use the conditional no without taking it as a teaching moment, but 
and is a really powerful one because it helps people understand what your priorities are and the order with which things need to unfold in your life. So there you have it, guys. That is six ways to say no. I know that first one's really hard and it's super blatantly obvious, but the other ones, when used strategically, can really make it easier for you to stick to your budget and still show people that you want to engage with them. Uh, it's not about them. You're not in an avoiding situation. You're simply putting some structure bound around when, how, and how much you are willing to spend in order to have that, you know, hangout sort of experience. Anyway, hope this was helpful for you. As always, like, comment, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video.